What's going on? You know what? I'm a little upset. I don't get enough comments. How oh, come? How oh, come? I have to be normal a little bit, okay? How come I don't get enough comments? I'm, I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. Don't forget I put together some diaries in between of all the diarrhea that comes out of me. Diaries to diarrhea. It's all the same thing. If you don't open your mouth to spit it out, my friends, you have to swallow it. And sometimes it's not an easy pill to swallow the truth. Nothing is easy to swallow unless you play by the machine rules. Now, you can do whatever you want. Okay? But the machine is the machine. And you're not at the control. So that's the difference. Okay? It doesn't matter who you are in this world. The machine runs and it does what it has to do. Now, the sustainable life, okay, that we're living is about 80-odd years because we're into a, um, a crease in our life where... Um, we're definitely, wait, there's, there's no perfect people. So uh, there's a few people living to a hundred and something, but our bodies, first of all, because of the air, we can't sustain. And because this world has existed before, did you know that world, this world existed before? I can almost guarantee you. Because of a trademark that's in this country. I'm gonna show you one trademark in this country, and you're gonna say, oh my God, you're right. So here's gonna be the trademark. I just thought of it now. So uh, we're going to go like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Okay. Um, it existed before because... You don't mind waiting? I'm sorry. Here's what it is. B4. B4. There are no B4 vitamins. And whatever they come up with now, it's too late. It's too late. And how do I know it's too late? I'm in the system, so I know it's too late, I know it's too late, so that's the trademark, because something happened before, so they use that word somewhere else, trademarking it, okay, inside the dictionary we use to get today, okay, it says it right there, in the dictionary, so it says before, because they don't spell it the same way, I mean, who told them what to spell in the dictionary, whose choice was it, can we take a boat, I think instead of B-E-F-O-R-E, -E, we just got a B and a dash and a four, and that's the end of it. What is we're wasting all the ink? We waste the ink in our pens. That's the gold. These are the gold. My mind, I don't know what it is. The silver in my head makes the gold come out of my pen. And look at the tip. And it's a mate. Hey, matey. How you doing, matey? You're a medium. You're a man. Yeah, you're a paperweight. You're a mate. Because I write down everything he tells me. So now what happens, if you take a good look at before, it's a 1, it's a 1, a 3, a 7, and a 1. That's a 7 on the 4. Where is it? Don't you see the 7? 1, 7, 3, 1. 17, 31. Okay? And if you turn it this way, okay, it looks like a whale. And the, th the number 1 on the top right there is W. Okay, it's a V with two ones. Okay, it's standing on a seven with a one on its back. It's saying, This is a whale of a world of God, one spirit of creation, one. That's what it means before. Now, if you turn it the other way, okay, where is it? How come it disappears all the time? Let me see. Ah, okay, here it is. Now, now, you see what it looks like this way? Oh, McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-O, McDonald's. Not only that, this side, if you take a look, this is a jack. You see the way it curls as a jack? And this, you see the two U's in here? You see the E-world in here? This is your creation right here. These are the numbers. This is how it works. Where is 5 and 9? 5 and 9, 9 to 5, 11 to 9, 11, 9, and 11. Where is 9 and 5? Oh, it's very simple. They're always hanging out together. I'm going to tell you that you come into this world on the Mediterranean, but in Monopoly we start on Go. Okay, the Mediterranean is the angel. Okay, 
Now, before you start in this life, you must have an angel. The reason you must have an angel, that's who you are, actually. It's that little element of DNA that goes out of your body. Okay, so what happens now? Is you try to find something that'll build. And I said, okay, what can I build? Five. F-I-D-E. F is the sixth letter. I is the ninth letter. B is the fourth letter. And E is the fifth letter. It totals six, nine, fifteen, thirty-seven, and five, forty-two. Now let's do nine. N-I-N-E. Fourteenth letter is the is the N. I is nine, twenty-three, and fourteen. N is thirty-seven, and E again, forty-two. They both have the same letter count. So somewhere in the wiring, they're hooked up together. Otherwise, that wouldn't work. Everything hooks up to something else just by the numbers. Now, what we do is we take a look on the computer, and on the five is the percentage sign. And there's two tiny little zeros, because those two tiny little zeros, and if you take a look, my key is missing. I think, I'm not sure, I think there's a round little spot on it. The round little spot shows the black in the background. And when you have a black in the background, it means you're back in black. It means you're in back into this world, because this is the black and blue world because it's red, yellow, and blue that make the black. Blue is the electric, and the yellow comes from Urantia. So where was I? Uh, the numbers. I was back at the numbers. Which numbers? Oh, the two little zeros. Yes. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I remember. <laughs> uh, I feel like going out for a coffee with somebody. Uh, I need friends now, okay, because I feel like just... Uh, and knowing things that I, I just, whatever it is, it just comes to me, boom, 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 like I'm in the computer, you know what I'm saying? I don't get the full result, I don't get everybody's definition, but I see the basic by the setup of the numbers. Um, so you have the two little zeros, which represent, if they go on top of each other, they can mean love, right? Now, if you take a number and you flip it upside down, it looks the same, you can put it back the other way and put it back together again, put it this way and flip it on top and see what it makes, okay? Well, the six and nine can do that. And... The six and nine is right here. This is this. I got to show you this. This is this. Look, nine and six. These are all nine and six. Is one oh one. What this means is they went back to back over here. This is his angel. He's reflecting on his angel now. He's reflecting on his angel. They're actually back to back. These two guys. So they take four steps here. The other one takes four steps there. And if you take a look at them, what they look just like eyes, they already look like they're going to blow up. You know what I'm saying? You see this over here, these lines? This means it's moving. The energy is moving. Dynamite, okay? They're like dynamite. It's all 11. So now what it says in there, it says, listen, you saw the 6 and 9? So it says 6 versus 9 Elenin. Would you like to see again? This is a back-to-back -back fight in a saloon, and it says 6 versus 9, 11. Because look, 11 is right here. These two things here are 11. I don't care. Look, that's a 6 and that's a 9. We count everything individual in God's world. Pieces turn and twist just like an opening door and closing door. Everything fits into each other and nothing moves for no reason at all. So everything lasts a whole lot longer. That's why he made us so small and take up all these bodies so we can pick up from the universe. The universe is so vast. We can live forever and ever. But like God always says to me, Okay, he says, my son, he says, never ever land has never been found. No one knows, and that's why the symbol still stands out. There is no never and ever forever. The never and forever is all in your mind, and it's where you take yourself in this life that'll take you forever and ever. And if it takes you forever and ever, well, it'll be that time that, well, if you call it suffering, being a fish, and going into the water, and biting on a worm, and seeing a beaver, and getting hooked, and then somebody eating you, passing out by the rear end, you want to be a fish? Somebody eats you, they go to the bathroom, they shit you out. You are the tail of the story. So what good is life? If you take everybody else's tail away, it's just going to fall on you. The Chinese said it right. The Chinese, okay, they were one of the first cast angels, as long with the Eskimos and the Mayan. The Mayan are purely angels. They're little ants, and they are the ones who run Urantia. The Mayan run Urantia, and they know all about it. That's why they mentioned it, because it's an ant society. Okay, they must find workers. Somebody has to work to make the system go. So either you die and never come back again, or you work in Urantia. Okay, you can go into any one of their doors or systems, but the thing is, you can never leave. And when Krista Berg was singing that song, 
um, uh, Spanish train, I'm starting to think that in order to come into this world, because um, Beta is only a machine and God is real and Urantia is a machine, but Urantia are God's little ants who do everything for him that he needs done. They never say a word, so we gave him all the strength so nobody can bother them and they can pop back to life at any time. And they're black. They're all black and that's the way it is because the red ants, I'm not going to talk about the red ants. Okay, so what happens now? Uh, where was I? Um, we were at the ants in Urantia, and uh, we were at the ants in Urantia. So that's how it works. You just go back to that other world, and, and that's where you are. And it's uh, and you got to be happy, anyways, wherever you are, because uh, sustaining life is what everybody cries for. And when you cry, it's good. No, it means you really love to want, or something hurts, and you understand better. So if you don't cry, you dry up. You don't want to dry up because if the salts dry up like they did in the Mediterranean, they bring in the dark sea or the red sea or the black sea. My friends, that's bringing life back. They're bringing the, from the dead, they're bringing life. That's fantastic. So you ask, when hell freezes over, the Antarctica broke off. Anyways, in God's world, just to show you, okay, it was one three creation, but he needed the other triangle, that seven part, to create the triangle to actually make the whole thing work. So even in God's world, he ended up with eight. He ended up with a B4. He ended up with two B4s, and now it's after eight. And then there's a whole other joke. Okay, we're going to keep it short this time. Can I stop? Yep. There is going to be another time. Um, yes, I just have to just remind <laughs> one thing. I know I probably missed something. Um, there are so many things in the Hebrew alphabet that show uh, the Arantia world, like the shaft. You know the shaft is like this? The shaft is like this. The shaft or the shaft, where the shaft went. It was a borehole. There was nothing there. If there was something there, they put black. You know what I'm saying? Um, watch. You see? You see the same thing on the side as the background. It means it's empty. But once you, if you want to shove something in it, okay, and, and it's on a picture, and your whole picture is black and white, it'll show this. Otherwise, it'll show this. It means reserved parking. One eye only. You understand? One eye only. It's an eye. One eye only. I started reading some of the Mayan uh, script scriptures, and I found something that was quite interesting, and I even redesigned it. I never really understood it until today, and if I can find it back in my work somewhere... Yeah, I showed it in another one, you see. You see this? You see? How can I show you? Uh, right here. You see this? That's this over here. These are the two balls of balance. One on, here's your dick. Here's one of your balls hanging low. Here's your other ball hanging low, okay? They're hanging on this. This balances you, okay? You have to balance your balls. It's not, it, okay? And it creates this. And this is in the Mayan uh, scriptures in the, in the sandstone, this here. And it represents this here, in which this and this, okay, if you want to know what they are, they are, they are who we are, they are, oh, come on. Okay, I'll just I'll just design it. I'll just design it. This signature is under the 147 key on your telephone. It represents the branches of Urantia. Okay? This is the zero for the beta world that when you create from an odd you make even, everything becomes the ten ten. And within that you have the nine to start. Because you are the tenth, tenth one that's odd to create the nine spots in here, and the ten is the equation. This is what's on the bottom of your telephone, and this is a tool that tells you that when you make it perfect, the only way out is right here. Because every egg, every egg is just about the same. Although they're off by grams, they even classify them. And you have to fit in an egg when you go back. So if you're not like an egg when you leave, then you're going to wobble around and probably be a wobbly egg. So that's, that's on the bottom of your telephone. And in this position, it's 147, which was 12. 
Okay, one and two is three. It means creation. North south line of creation. This one comes out to 15. One and five is six. It means man's world. It means actually earth. Six is the number of earth. Okay, six earth. One and a half times that is the cat's life on the earth. One and a half times this. I gotta write that down. This is one and a half times this. This is 10. Now this is 15. And this is 9. Okay, now this is 15. But if this was 10 and this was 9, this would be 1 going this way, which makes the 10% of our brain. That's funny. You see, you see, this becomes 10 because it's in the O world. Although it's the 15, it's a standing O. Okay, it's a 15 standing O. So it can either hold the 10 value, the 0 value, or the 15 value. But when it's between here, okay, the value is actually 10. Because on the telephone, you don't have 15. So it's actually value in that equation for with, don't forget who's on its left and who's on your right. If you're in between, either you're all alone or you're with one of the two. So if you're with one, one of the two, there's something between you that goes on. If there's something that goes on in the Urantia world, it means you're connected to something and something is going on. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't sleep. There is no sleep forever and ever. There's no sleep in Urantia. Do you know why? Because when it sleeps, the system shuts down. It will take billions of years to start it up again. It's lasted a long time, eh? See that sun up there? I'm just going to change the wiring in it. Maybe it'll get a little cool out here. Who knows? Oh, well, it is. Just change your pieces, man. They're always going to work. If it's a system, it's a system. If you believe in God, then what are we actually doing here? If God wanted to take me, meow, oh, I don't hurt at all. Meow, I don't hurt at all. No, that's my cat. Meow. It just means me is an I, okay? And ow is because it's the egg of the beta creation. And that egg of beta creation is only a 2-3 creation. And it's not a 1-4 creation. 1-4 creation is the fourth angle of God. And meow became the cat. And oink, oink, oink became the pig. O-I, okay, O-I is in the water world, right? But it's the I-N-K, is the ink. See, the pig represents whatever the pig represents, with what I just said, if you didn't understand. Every animal represents something inside its name and inside what they say. Most of the animals, okay, that talk, will always talk about something. A monkey will say, e, 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 I, 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 e, e, I, 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 e, e, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a fucking monkey. Of course monkeys talk before. Are you kidding? It didn't matter. It didn't matter. It was still us. That's why it's Urantia. It's us in your world. In the Laurentians, Canada. It's us, my friend. We were in every animal before we were here. How do you create something unless you take time to build on it? And then it lasts and you knock it down. If it doesn't work, you don't take it out again. But it's, you know what? If we work for 6,000 years and we only have to die once to come back, oh, let's reuse the system again, eh? If we knew when we came and we knew when we left, it'd be a lot more fun. But when you're coming, you're crying, and you go, and you're fucking scared, what the hell do you do? You see, because they had to give you a, a position in this world. When you came into this world, the position you had was by your parents. And then you entered into a world of all your own eyes. It was I and me and no one else. It was no, 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 no. And that's a word that bounces off your tongue. No, 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 no. And the reason it bounces off your tongue is because the letter, the letter goes up and down. And if you want to talk about a Z, it goes round and round, right? A buzzing bee goes round and round. The Z represents the earth and we're east-west people and we go round and round. Uh, what other animals in here? Uh, a lot of monkeys, uh, they don't have, I just dropped something. A lot of monkeys, uh, their ass is like all screwed up, right? They like have absolutely no ass, okay? And they didn't understand what it was to be an ass because they were always asses. So uh, the monkey, who was the most intelligent man on earth, um, God decided, what do I do with the monkey? Monkey see, monkey do, everybody's getting rich, the rest are getting poor. Monkey see, what do I do with the monkey? This other guy's always scratching his ass. 
you try to figure it out between the guy who's scratching his ass who doesn't understand, he makes him one kind of monkey, and the other guy who's scratching his ass because he wants to learn how to fuck someone else, what they do when he becomes a monkey, because communication with God in the animal kingdom has to do with how tall your ears are, okay, and how long your tail is, or tusks, okay, so when it came to the monkey, they gave him small ears, okay, just a little bit to say, what, what, and they cut off his ass, because they didn't want him to communicate with anybody, because he ruined everybody else's life here. But now, if you want to go to the orangutan, now that's a little bit different, okay. Now the orangutan is special, very, very special. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't even study it. I just thought about it. It's insane. He's, he seems to always be happy. He's orange. He was an orange angel, a son of God. He was good. He wanted to be a monkey because he liked bananas. And he knew there were many ways out. If he was a real good monkey, he can enter the circus and play with the people's heads, like they do with the organ grinder when he holds out his hat. So if you want to be a monkey, there's no problem, because when you're a monkey, you're a wrench. And when you're a wrench, you're useful. And sometimes if you're wrenched and drenched, you're full of water and you're only the rain man back in the head. So be careful which wrench and how you get drenched. Um, the other thing is, in the Hebrew language, I've done this before, but I've got to do it again. Okay, the Hebrew language, okay. I went to the cemetery today, and I saw this letter and this letter on the tombstone. Pay, a pay, and a nun. Now, if you're Jewish out there, Hebrew, and you're looking at this, pay a nun, uh, I don't understand why does it mean pay a nun. Now, when you tell me the answer, when you write me the answer, tell me if you want to write it in Hebrew, there's no problem, okay. And if you want to write me a story, why are they both green? And this one's blue. This one says, pay none. And this one says, pay none. When you match up two greens, okay, you have put two of the same of something together. So you're matching up two greens. You're putting something together. Now, what are you putting together? Well, if you want to buy something, okay, you bring it to the counter, he punches it in, you give him cash. He puts that cash with the other cash because it's all his cash. And he exchange your cash for his cash. So the pay means the payday. Okay? And the none means the zero. It means the payday coming into this world. Pay none. Pay nothing to come into this world. Pay and none is on our tombstone and it says to pay nothing to come into this world. But while you are in this world, you must pay all the time. You must pay in courtesy. You must pay by well judgment of others and yourself. You must judge yourself more than anybody else because if you don't keep yourself balanced, you'll be off in the jungle of the world in the big city of Montreal where all the green is and I see no trees. And if there are no trees in the city, you can't live because there ain't no air. So the air gets dense and everybody starts to pass on. They pass on this and they pass on that. But at the end, they all pass out because at the stock market, they all went broke anyways for the big trash coming down. Um, anyways, um, so you have the pain in them. Now they're green because green means life, okay? And when it says life and what kind of life, it means green means algae green, means you're in the mind. This is the electronic world. Fade. To fade away. You fade away. When, when you play and you fade away, you play against. If you're in cr playing craps and you fade, instead of playing, uh, playing on 7 and 11, you play on 1 and 2. So when you fay and you say, I am not going to be the human being who speaks on YouTube. I'm going to be the little man in his head who tells him what to say. Well, if he wants to listen to me anyways. Because you know what? That old verb, okay, he has the last choice. The verb has the last choice. Because I'm the verb, okay? An I is a verb because an I sees. i got to write that down. I is a verb. I is a verb. And I sees. X split cornea. X split cornea. I 525. 525. Five. Wow, oh my god. Okay, the I the I is the ninth letter. Okay. 
I split I splits the C's five, six, seven, seventeen equals eight creation. Oh my god, the creation is basically all in the eye and behind the eye and between the ears. What this meant is the God, okay, I equals nine, and God is the one spirit of the three creation. So the I is an odd number. Odd numbers are all creation. So that means creation is an action. An action is a verb. So all eyes are verbs. All eyes are verbs. And all E's are female nouns. Person, place, or thing. Okay, so now I'm going to explain it to you. Now, God's in creation, okay? He is he, he goes up to the mountain, and Moses is there, and he says, I am who I am. I am who I am. Okay? I am who I am says he's not a noun. If God's not a noun, God's not a noun. He is elements in nature in everything. God's an element in nature and he's in everything. He is green and red, back and black. What does that make? Green and red, back, black. Okay, do you follow me so far? Let's go over this, okay? God is an eye. We are all standing eyes, okay? We are always considered as a person, place, or thing as a noun. But how can we be called a noun if that if we are an I and it's the ninth letter and it's an odd number and the last digit, we are not a noun. We are an action figure. So we become a verb. But because we are a nine, you see I'm learning this as I go, as we are nine, which equals to omega nine. So do we ever take omega nine? Because an omega nine means 901. Is there an area code 901 in the world? So that's what it means. And the and the one, you see, what happens is man, I'm going to show you what happens. How did man become an eye? Man becomes an eye like this. He's going east and west. These are east and west lines. When beta comes in and gives her a power, man's eye becomes like this. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to try and finish this off. I'm going to try to get to it and explain exactly what I'm trying to explain here. So, so you're a nine. So let me see what I'm going to get to. But when life... Oh, yes. So what's, what's in you, okay, these lines are actually... Where is it? Oh, my God. I hate this computer. You see these lines, okay? Take away that line, it looks like 11, right? Now, take away the 11 and look at just one line. So you would have three lines saying one, one, one. Now, what was I going to say about nine? So yes, so now one, okay, is only God. And there's nobody else of one of God because he's a straight arrow. Even though he runs crooked all the time, it's because all the connections that he made in order to run this entire world of Urantia, uh, 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 of the inside of Foreverland, inside of Urantia. This is Foreverland. So what happens? Man must take home his trademarks. Okay? Man must take home his trademarks. And his trademark is, when he comes into the world, his trademark is like this. So he becomes a number one like this, and God becomes a number one like this. He's a number one in the east-west world, and God's a number one in the north-south world. So this is, stands for World War I. Now, if you look up this, okay, it's because God and Beta God and all the three elements that we need to create are two and three, creating the letter W. Two and three. Two balls, three strikes. The next action of the action of the action. 
of the catcher telling the pitchers the signs, refusing and telling and telling and refusing and refusing and retelling, and at the end of the game they're shaking hands and they're happy whether they win or lose, but they're pissed off so they disgust it because they are a team. And that is a verb because it's a capital I. It's a team. Number one. It's an I1. It has to be an I1 because you only can't, but now when you have an I1, okay, you put the check mark on that angle, we're saying creation, that's part of the creation angle, it's a three spot. But you don't take the seven because the only thing you're playing is a game and it ends. So it's number one all the time, you're either first or second. Two balls, three strikes. The pitch is an action. He throws the pitch and it's either a strike or a ball. He goes to first place. He goes back to the dugout. He goes back home. So there's more than one decision. So the pitch comes, and it's an action. And what happens? Something. Something happened. He either went to first, or he went to the dugout. At least you know the, the two results at the end. It's not like the information we get in this world. I want to know what's in the dugout. I've got to go back to my dugout and see what my coach says. But in this world, the dugouts, I think their dugouts are high in the sky and in every big city blocking the vision of every single man and stopping the advancement for every human being on this earth and even into those, okay, who are advancing in the world, okay. If Urantia says, stand up, if you don't stand in front of Urantia, they're going to sit you down and you won't be able to move. And whatever you want, you won't get because it's the system and you're a part of the system. It works. I'm having a decent life. I like it. I have my troubles, but in my head I categorize it and I pitch it out in the garbage because I don't need it. You get a bill, you pay it. Get everything out of the way now. Why wait? The only thing we wait a little bit with is the dust because we don't appreciate it until we see it dusty. And then we see it clean and then we feel good. And it feels good in the mind and your mind is a woman so she feels twice as good. So you feel great, so you both feel good, so it's a great day. And that's why you're so bright because you're my son and you're my daughter. So anyways, coming down to the end of this, okay, and I've mentioned this before, since there's a banker on this earth that was put here from another world, okay, because what happens in every world, uh, one Messiah wins and they get to create their own world, and Jesus Christ won in his world, and he um, didn't come, it's not his world here, it's not the world of Jesus Christ, okay, uh, Jesus Christ is uh, one of God's four-star sons, who has a passage to all the worlds. So God and Jesus Christ are both running this world together. Uh, Jesus is right in the system with his Father. And what happens now is we have to set up a banking system. We have to set up any kind of system. Any system you set up will set up some sort of bank. Okay? A snow bank. Uh, whatever you do, you move things to a corner. It's piled up. It looks piled. It's not. You're, either you're stacking it or you're putting it or placing it. If it was once flat and it's no longer flat, you made a bump, you made a pile, you made a creation. Whatever it is, it is. So this bank is a storage center. It's the red devil who has to take care of it because he won the red mark for this planet. And he takes care of the bank and everything else and he has a good life because he won it on his other life and uh, he turned out uh, that uh, he turned out the wrong way. And there's two things at the end of this life. Either the man who has played, who has created this world for him in his image, okay, either he gets another medallion or, okay, there's an interference helper that comes in because when you're here at the first time you need help. Moses came in. Jesus was the main character of the whole shop. He came in because he was the thought adjuster for everybody. And if you don't listen to Jesus Christ, then he, the system is within, within inside of him. He is electronic, okay, as well as human being. And all he is is the molecules of the earth and nothing more. Nothing more. And that's how we process in the world. So now what happens, Jesus Christ cannot come into this world and win this world over because he has done his thing. He is the figure. He is the one we look up to. We need a beta world figure who's playing the game and already in the game. Uh, Okay, no, my screen. So we need somebody in the game because Beta, okay, Jesus, needs a spokesperson who can talk for Jesus and say the truth. That's all he looks for. If you ever looked at the picture of uh, the Last Supper, okay, Judas Icarus is sitting at the table with his 
thumbs on the side, and that's a spirit thumb. When you put your thumbs like that on the table, my friend, in front of Jesus, that's the wrong thing to do. The other thing he has is wearing this thing over his neck, okay? And he's positioning it in the actual position of a wolf. It looks like he wants to eat. He has the green vest over tied up. It's like he's tied up the green life. He knows the world, okay? He's allowed in the system. He's wearing that shirt. He's not allowed. So he was no good. That's what I saw. Oh, there's so many things. And if anybody wants to know about the Last Supper, just ask me. I've only looked at it a few times, but you know what? Now that I've advanced a little bit more, I seem to pick things up a lot quicker. Hold on a second. I want to see if my phone is working. How does it go? Hello? 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 How did I? Hello? 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 Hello. 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 Oh, yeah. Now it's working fine. Okay. Yes. Yes. What a direct contact. This is insane, my friends. Have you ever tried this before? Do you want to talk inside your mind? Put your little pinky. They call it the pin key because a pin key, okay, is what gets you into every single bank. So if you want to go into a bank, okay, the only way in and the only bank you have that costs you nothing that you can hide in the corner and be anywhere you want in contact is put your thumb, press on your ear, and push this in your ear close. The vibration from your mouth will go up your pinky and you'll be able to hear yourself twice as loud as you normally do. In fact, you'll be able to hear yourself through your pinky because I'm doing it right now. So if I continue this for a, for a period of time, over a period of time, um, the vibrations that are going through my pinky within the truth inside will keep Rain Man a little bit higher because now he's getting a better reception that every time I speak it goes out into this world of air and it passes through the air that goes by and then back to my ear. I mean today I tried to use my cell phone and the wind was blowing and, and I couldn't hear anything and the cell phone shut off twice. So put your, look, and, and the mustache, okay, what the mustache does now is because of the filaments that go up your nose when you're breathing you're getting the air from your mustache, the vibration of the words going out, and your mustache vibrations are going up your nose again. So he's getting a full path of air, and your rain man is feeling good. He's flying high. You think I'm crazy, eh? All you got to do, just push that in. Close it up. Close the hole up. Don't let any air in. You want no air in. You want your ear closed. You have to close it. You see that? Close it. Now you take it like that. Oh, it's very hard to put my hand like that. Hold on. Hello? 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 Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm hooked up again. This is so cool! Listen, um, when you have an imagination, and it's weird because it's just like everything works, and the imagination is the most insane thing in the world because, you know, you're like in a magic park. We're in the best park in the world. Shut your eyes, lie on the couch, grab an apple, take a drink of schnapps, and go ahead and fly, just like the cosmonauts. I want to talk from outside my head. Um, have you ever checked out the cosmonauts? Russia? I mean, according to my calculations, Russia and the Mayan are connected. Seriously, because Russia and Mayan are like completely opposite. The Mayan were small and a little colorful. And the Russians are white and tall. And their women are like men. And their men, they're like animals. Now, I'm telling you this of a story I read. What it means, okay, is if I hear something of what somebody else said of a hearsay, I can uh, uh, reinterpret it to see it the worst way and then to see it the best way. And the best way is, the only reason this place hasn't blown up yet is because of the Russians. They are the ones who are saving our ass right now. Okay? Why? Shh a secret and that's why it works well for them because they keep a secret and they let everybody else go do what they want their only secret okay is to tell everybody directly that they are the angels no they don't they become cosmonauts they become very smart in their field and they are the angels and they don't say nothing and they let everybody live and you know what it was the iron curtain and it wasn't a brick wall and Sometime an iron curtain is a lot better than a brick wall because if you run into a brick wall, you're screwed. You run into an iron curtain, you dent it. And everybody knows you got a dent in your teeth 
and your teeth are another way of the vibration. You see, I don't reach right now, because but if I take my finger and make it a little wet, hold on a second. And I get it on my tooth. This is the reason you're not, that's why I have to stop smoking, just because of this. And I'm going to stop. So now that I've got, i got it perfect now. I have it on my teeth now. So now, I sort of feel a double vibration, because now the echo comes from within my mouth, vibrates against my fingers, hits against my teeth, back to my ear, and where my teeth are screwed into my jawbone, around my head, which encaptures my brain, so there's a full vibration of everything I say. So if you think I got a lift right now, that's one of the reasons the people have a lift. It's because of this correction that nobody has made, except for those who lift. And they get a better connection in certain areas, but they lisp because of that. Okay, lisp, lisp, lisp off 1111. 1111 creates tic-tac-toe. 1111 creates the box of love. 1111, 11 and 9. Before 10 is 1, after 10 is 1. So what do you got? Before 10, okay, is 9. And after 10 is 11. But 9 is good because at 9, you're one away from 8. And 8 is heaven. And at 11, you're one away from 12. And you're one away from creation. So no matter which way you go, win-win. First time in your life, all you had to do is listen to the rules. Win-win situation. And guess what? There's a premium on your life. Okay? In the next world, when we come back, if it's this world, we are going to win a windfall. Every person, a different amount. Some, the wind will fall. Some of the wind will blow. And some, well, a little cash will be get blown right into their area. Call it a money tree. The only time the money tree exists is when people get money because they deserved it in their last life. But we can't catch up. We can't be 20 again. So we start over again because we chose it. And we are wise about it. And the thing about death really never enters us because we're in the zone. And we know at the end that if you follow Christ, or Jacob, or Abraham, well, in all actuality, he is I, the verb, God, the verb, two gods, nine and nine, eighteen, which makes nine, and nine is eighteen, which makes nine, and nine is eighteen, which makes nine, and nine is eighteen, and we got to finish it off odd, and nine, and now you got the eighty-one worlds, and nothing else to look forward to, because now you know it all. What do we know? If I put something around this, it's going to create something on the keyboard. If I put something in it, okay, it's going to create another design. If I put putty on this, it's going to create another design. What goes in, something comes up. Either it has air in it, either it's full of air, or it has something in the position. Space is what we need to conquer, okay? Space. I'm not talking about the planets. I'm talking about empty space. Because if you don't fill it up and air gets in, it turns everything gray and everything gets, gets murky and it's murky waters. So he makes murky waters on this earth so we can figure out how to get rid of the gray. And everybody's got hair and God gets to look. Oh, he got gray. He got gray. He lost his hair. He got gray. So in the murky waters, space and air and water and earth. But no, I can't. I can't. What is it? Space, time, water, earth, wind equals movement. Twirl. Twirl equals curve. Universe. Okay, so um, space, time, water, earth, Wind, wind equals movement. So now we have movement. But if the movement is just east-west, you're not going anywhere. Okay? So now you need to do is put up a sidewall. You put up a sidewall. You put up a sidewall right here. So it hits here, the wind. But you know what? It wasn't good enough. So where am I? Here. This and this. Now the wind bounced off this and bounced off this. I'm going to do it on a clean piece of paper because...
Yeah, I'm not saying much. Don't worry, it'll only be a second. I'm not going to... History of the Big Bang, okay? In the first one, okay, this is just your sun, and I'll show you what this is actually here, okay? These are spiral galaxies, okay? And each one of their galaxies, they have this, 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 and this. That's the formation. When four spiral galaxies come together, they're constantly moving around this. They're not stable because their pressure points are less than if they would than if they would just do this. See this here? This is three. It sits in really well. They can turn around each other. But in this one, they move. That's the star kiss. Okay, now what happens is these universes, okay, these galaxies, they turn around, okay, they turn around, oh, I didn't mark the right one, they turn around within each other, eventually they can no longer turn, now what happens is they start to curl, like curled milk, you see how small this one is, well they start to get as small as these, Except while this is happening, these tails are going all the way around and closing the whole pile into one egg. This closes the whole pile in one egg. And once that closes in, it starts to spiral like a snail. Okay? These walls start to close because of the suction and the electrical ma magnetical tube as are in here. These walls, okay, are space walls. You don't see them. It's an energy that, that causes the wall. This explodes cracks these walls up, okay, and the energies come out here, come out here, go out the top, and go out the bottom to begin the world. And then God picks up these sticks, okay, he takes whatever come off onto these sticks, okay, and he cleans everything up. He puts glue on everything. It's a gum. It's something from the universe. So when it blows up, a poof, it doesn't spray away. It all doesn't disappear. All the rocks don't go away. Some of the parts of the rocks stay. You understand? If you go to a window, okay, and you put this in the window, this, this here, and you break the window, the window won't move because each is individualized as an I and a T. So it won't move. So this is what God puts out on the corners. So now it hits here, it hits here, it hits here. It's like being in the Gulf of Mexico. Inside the Gulf, it goes round and round and round and round. You see, if they didn't make it go round and round, it would go away and we can never have any Big Bang. So we have to have this. This automatically, okay, is a reflector. It's a reflector. So you can never leave the universe unless you go out through one of these passages, okay, which are open and closing and they close within. So we're always going around. So if anybody wants to know, does this universe have a wall on it? Yes, we do. We have a wall on it. And this is what it is, and we're in here. Whatever exploded, we kept. If we make, were good enough to make a bomb to blow up the universe without hurting anything and creating life, I want to keep my prize. So God, what he did, is he did this. He closed it all in now. Nothing got out. Now what do you see? This is an octagon. This is the heaven now. It's the octagon. And these are the piglets. Right inside. These are, these are the piglets. And here's the diamond that connected everything together. And if you want to know anything when you connect east and west, you got 88. And that's how they created the world of 88. Plus 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 marks. There's a lot more marks. It goes up to 21. Okay, so now we brought this in. And now the same thing with our sun. We have the same thing with our sun. We have these walls on our sun. And it helps our sun uh, to point out into the places in the universe that have to be pointed out. And we don't really um, see, but our sun uh, does pick and choose sometimes where it's going to shoot a little bit more. Because it has no choice. It's in another part of the universe. That needs whatever it is because the sun is a robot. Okay, it's a mechanical machine. It sends messages just like the moon. 
Okay, but the moon is, no, I don't think anybody's in the moon. I think they're on uh, Jupiter and uh, the sun and maybe Pluto also because according to the deck of cards, the king of diamonds is waving goodbye and one and nine are opposite of each other. So that would mean they're actually together because if you're opposite, you're together, right? You're a man, she's a woman, you're together. He's a man, you're a man. Well, holy fuck, that's no good, right? Raphael 7286, the time has come for all of us to stick together. If you like, please, please send me wherever you can. You must push the word of what I speak. I speak of only a book, but I believe that my book deserves a little bit of publicity. Not only for that, I speak the good word of the Lord. At least I think I do. I hope I do. I wish I did. I hope I did. I hope I will. I hope I do. I am going to. I am. I am. I will. I am he who is. I am who. And I will do. Because Urantia is you. And you have the last choice. 7286, Mr. Tack Pens. We are five. We are six. We are seven. We are eight. We are dying. We are lying. We are living. We are one. Have fun.